All right, away, Mark. Editor Dave here, and I'm back in Colorado, so let me explain while past me drives across Kansas. First, this is not going to be another boring theology video. Rather, my wife and I escaped the house and went AWOL on bicycles. In October 2023, we rode the Katy Trail with Bicycle Across Missouri. The Katy Trail is the longest bike trail in the United States and stretches almost all the way across the state of Missouri. This was such a great ride that I thought I would post two videos from that trip, days one through three and then days four through six. The Katy Trail follows the old Missouri, Kansas, Texas Railroad, basically the Kansas, Texas, where they get the nickname KT. That began in 1865. I must admit that when we signed up for this ride, I did it mainly because my wife wanted to. I didn't expect much. I mean, it's a pretty flat route, very flat actually, and coming from Colorado, could Missouri really compete with our local rides? Now before anyone drops negative comments below, let me quickly apologize. I was wrong. Oh, so wrong. This has got to be one of the best trips we have ever done on so many levels. Riding, people, scenery, history, so much history. We even got to be in a PBS documentary about the Katy Trail while on this ride. And you'll have to watch towards the end of this video about that. But if you want to jump ahead, I'll have a link to the PBS video underneath this. Where to begin? How about at the very start when we arrive driving into Clinton, Missouri? the very western terminus of the Katy Trail, to meet up with the ride organization Bicycle Across Missouri. And before I go any farther, let me just say, we like this ride so much that we're going again this June in 2024 with my son and grandchildren. And if you're interested, I'll have a link to their website, Bicycle Across Missouri, the Katy Trail, underneath this video in the description section. So where were we? Ah, yes, arriving in Clinton. This is base camp check-in for day zero of the Katy ride being hosted by Pork Bellies. This is home for the next week. We are right up to the start of the Katy Trailhead. And we are the last ones. <laughs> We're the last ones out of camp. We did it, yes! That was pretty. I should tell you a little history about the Katy Trail. It gets its name from the Missouri, Kansas, Texas Railroad Line. The railroad started operation in 1870, but in 1986 it went out of business. They closed the line. And that's when one of the founders of Edward Jones Financial Services, and he bought the right to its railroad track and started the Katy Trail. Gave it to the state of Missouri, and then he gave them $2 million to build the trail. It's the longest rails to trails project in the United States. It's really a remarkable testament to one man's gift to the state of Missouri and to the United States. Mucho gracias, senor. You go ahead and pick a card and we'll write it down for you. We're with the Chamber of Commerce. I'm the president. She's on my board of directors. Glad you're here. Well, thanks. I'm glad you guys are doing this for us. Appreciate it, yeah. Thank you. Highest point on the whole trail, 955 feet. It's all downhill from here. Yeah.
The trail also has all these nice little pull-offs off it. Just dropped my camera off the bike and over the bank, and Mo spotted it. <laughs> One in a million. Saved she saved the day. Coming into Sedalia, end of the ride for the first day. When they restored the cage trail for a rails to trails project, they took these old whistle stops and refurbished or rebuilt them along the way. And they serve as sort of like mini museums, each one. He's got a cater Day two, leaving Liberty Park in Sedalia, Missouri. Where are we heading to today? Uh, Boonville. Boonville. We're hoping that today is as nice as yesterday. That was just such a beautiful ride. Even though we have like 150 people on this group ride, you notice that we're off by ourselves. That's because we're taking our time, hitting all the little side attractions, doing the side detours, and not really rushing it. We only got a ride like 36 miles today. So what'd you get? A purple t-shirt, lavender. With the Katy Trail map on it. Katy Trail, yeah. This trail is so surprisingly nice to ride. I wish we had heard about it sooner. They gave us little pigs to go on our handlebars at this aid station. Yesterday they gave us little Katy pins. So we're just collecting our souvenirs as we ride. There's nothing like riding your bike across a state on a trail. You really can't compare it to like driving across the interstate. On the interstate, it's boring and you're wondering how long it's gonna take, when do I get gas? You ride your bike across, you see all the small towns, old historic bridges, graveyards, rock cuts, the geography, the plants. Look at this trail. Could there be a prettier way to get across the state of Missouri? It's pretty sweet. Olé, 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 olé. That's a shout out to Ryan Van Duzer, who has corrupted probably three quarters of the cycling population in this country with his antics. Way to go, Ryan. This is one of the last remaining train signals along the line here. Coming into Pilot Grove, our lunch stop today. Oh, there's my GoPro guy. Yes, and there's my hero. You can tell there's good food because of all the bikes. Well, I've done something. This has got to be the place, right? Pie. Pie. Okay, so where are you from? St. Charles, Missouri. My name's Melissa. I'm from Port Townsend, Washington. Um, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Warrensburg, Missouri. Mike from Madison here. Colorado yeah. Springs for you. Yes. I'm from Davenport, Iowa. My name's Steve. I'm from St. Peter's, Missouri. From Arkansas. Jonesboro, uh, which is near Memphis. Uh, we are from Texas, Texas. Fort Worth. That's right. Marty from Pennsylvania. Ooh, what Hi. part? Uh, Harrisburg. From San Diego, California. So you probably noticed that I've got different cycling gear on in each one of these video clips. In the morning, it's pretty cold, down in the mid-40s. 
and then it gets up to the 70s in the afternoon, maybe 80 tomorrow. Right now, it's about one o'clock, and it's pretty nice out. Here's why I love biking. Very pretty, Katie, very pretty. Boom, boom, we're spending the night here. Oh, train depot, now it's the Chamber of Commerce for Boonville. One of the old keelboats that Lewis and Clark used. It's eight feet wide, 40 feet long, and carried 27 men. Now, what most people don't know is that eight generations ago, Clark of the Lewis and Clark Exploration was my wife's uncle. Camp in Boonville. This is part of their state fairgrounds. That makes for a nice campsite for about 150 of us. And today was a fantastic day. Now it's time to unpack and get a shower. We were talking to one of the women with the Chamber of Commerce today, and she said the three big economic drivers for Boonville now are the casino down along the river. Anheuser-Busch has their Clydesdale farm here. That's where all the Clydesdales are raised and trained. And the Katy Trail. This is actually the third bridge that stood here. The first two were pivot bridges and then they made it into the center section that raises. Look how high that thing is. But then once the train line closed, they raised the bridge and locked it there. So you can't ride or walk across any longer. That's the modern automobile bridge down there. We'll cross that tomorrow. It's good to see that Boonville hasn't dried up. And they have all these bikes around town decorated in honor of the Katy Trail coming through town. It's pretty cool. Good morning and welcome to day three. Packing up and getting ready to go to Jefferson City. Right? Right. Day three. This is the start of our third day on the big bike ride across Missouri. And it has been absolutely wonderful so far. And we're expecting great things for the rest of the ride. Here's the bridge we walked out to last night. That's the old railroad bridge. Good morning, sunshine. I was so worried about the trail after the rain last night, but they did a great job on this. It's nice and solid, drains well. So how's the trail today? Hi. They have all these historical markers along the trail. And this is about a town here called Boone Lick. That became the town of Franklin and the Missis Missouri River washed it away. And then because of its position on trails, it became starting points for the California and the Santa Fe, the California and the Oregon trails later on. Starting today, we get into the Missouri River Valley and we're basically gonna follow the Missouri River downstream to St. Charles on day six. And if you can see through the trees, those cliffs over there, the Missouri-Kansas-Texas Railroad built their railroad on the north side of the Missouri River as close to the cliffs as possible because the Missouri River, when it flooded, it would change its riverbed or sweep across the whole valley. So being as close to those cliffs as possible was a wise move for building a railroad in those days. This is the only tunnel along the trail, and actually along the entire Missouri, Katy, Texas railroad line, all the way down to Texas. Hey y'all, we'll see you. We'll see you. 
a GoPro. I want the GoPro. I want the GoPro. Hiya. Oh, look at that. But you guys are with PBS. So PBS, uh, and you've done two. I've we've done two docks on. Is that well? well yeah, we've done two two docks on the KD trail. Oh, right. First uh -huh. trek on you? the on the band on the, on the KD trail. Yes. Yeah, exactly. How about Ragbri? Any of those? We've done Ragbri. The tunnels and the uh, bluffs that are coming around the corner here uh -huh. along the Missouri River. This is one of the more scenic parts of the trail along oh, the river for the okay. bluffs. And then as we get down to Cooper's Landing, we'll be able to sit around and talk a little bit and do some sound bites, yeah. So. And here's where they got cheap and didn't finish the tunnel. It's just rough rock. Yeah, don't crash here. You see how he's measuring? That's how the water came up. That's how high the water came up. Almost wiped this town out. The amount of history along this ride just oh. continues to surprise and astound me. This is our morning coffee stop. Thank you very much. Tell me about your bike. Oh man, let's see. Well, you start first. The Surly Go Scrappler. That's right. Uh, mean Green here. It's a drop bar mountain bike. So we put uh, carbon wheels on it, shock stem, made by Cane Creek. Uh, Cane Creek shock seat post. My bike is a one year newer salsa than Marla's bike. Stock touring bike. I put on some new handlebars. Okay, I have a Specialized Cirrus X. 3.0. It's a pretty good bike. I just got it a couple months ago. I did put a dropper post on it just because I did put some like little blingy decals on it. And look at everybody's bike on this trip. I'm like eyeing all the things that I want to add to my bike. Maybe change out tires. I have a little tire in V. Yeah. America Shep Touring Bike Steel Frame. So four rag rides on this bike. It's the bike I had five years ago and it's still going. And then I put DI2 on it. So it's a uh, champagne taste on uh, what? A beer budget. A beer budget. <laughs> Look at these bluffs. This is absolutely amazing along the river here. I'm having to bend over backwards just to get the top. Yeah, don't do that. People have died before for selfies. Yeah, it's true. It's just really dumb. views of the mighty Missouri. We are basically going to be following that for the next 180 miles or so. Look at where we get to eat lunch. Right on the river here. This beautiful little restaurant. Can you ask for anything more in a bicycle ride? Not much. All in all, it was about 55 miles total for us, mainly because we did a lot of back and forth with the PBS film crew, uh, helping them get some video. So, we'll see how that turns out. Coming into Jefferson City, the capital of Missouri. And you can hear all the 
car traffic noise already. End of day three, and this is our camp here in town. Pretty nice little park we have. This is where we ate Wednesday night. Really nice brew house. If you like the first three days of this video, the last three days get even more interesting. We meet musicians, artists, YouTube creatures, and Mother Nature throws a challenge at us. So be sure to watch the next video also. And click over here to catch that. Or click over here if you want to see more bicycle adventures that we've taken in the past. Until the next video, peace. Mm -hmm.